using Hitwise for content development. The following video will demonstrate how to identify and develop new content areas, expand your PPC campaigns, identify brand strength, and pinpoint seasonal search trends to impact your content plan. Identify and develop new content areas. When you first log into Hitwise, hover your mouse over Search Intelligence and select Term Variations. For the 40 million search terms that we capture each month, this report will identify the most popular variations of a particular term. In this example, I'll use the term iPad. The broad match filter will include plurals of the term if required, and from the metric pull-down, we can toggle between searches and search clicks, metrics that I will explain later. You can also analyze results over a weekly, monthly, or quarterly period. Once selected, generate the report. This report shows there are over 24,000 search term variations of the term iPad. iPad is the most popular, representing 17% share of all searches across these variations. Success rate indicates the proportion of these searches that successfully click through to a website. So 18% of searches for new iPad have not clicked through to a website. Like all reports within Hitwise, you can export them into CSV file as shown. Now let's imagine we want to identify new ways that consumers are searching for iPad last week, valuable for creating and refreshing new content areas. Firstly, open up the compare filter, allowing us to compare variations of a term over two separate time periods. As you can see, I'm comparing week on week. I can cut the result in the following ways. Here I'm selecting exclusive variations of iPad for this week versus last week. So there are over 6,000 new search term variations I can review, and some valuable opportunities such as the Samsung Android iPad, the Brushes iPad application, or accessories such as headphones for iPad. Expand your PPC campaigns. The other metric for the term variations report is search clicks. This will show the variations that have successfully clicked through to a website. For each term, this filter also will capture the proportion of searches that click through from a paid or natural listing on a search engine. So for example, 39% of searches for iPad price derive from a paid sponsored listings. At the footer of the report, we can also identify the overall paid versus organic ratio of all these searches, helping to benchmark the PPC investment of related campaigns. You can reflect this ratio over time using the charting tools as shown, helping to plan and execute your PPC campaigns at the right time. This report can also be used to identify and expand your negative keywords, helping to reduce your cost per click, increase ROI, and target your campaigns to the most appropriate prospects. Using the filter option, I can return iPad variations that include the term free. So there are 586 variations of iPad that include the term free. Some good examples may be free iPad or free TV iPad. The filter can also be used to find the smartest keywords that relate to more specific campaigns. For example, a campaign for selling iPad cases. And again, 79 variations of iPad cases of which you can find the smartest keywords. Identify brand strength and perception. If you want your online brand strategy to be successful, you need to ensure your brand message is consistent. Using the term variations report for your brand is a great way of understanding how consumers perceive your brand and related products or services you offer. In this example, I've used Sony, of which there are over 57,000 variations of the term. 
Sony is the most popular variation, followed by Sony Ericsson, Sony UK, and their laptop, Sony Vio. But let's imagine I want to understand how Sony's brand perception has changed over time. Using the compare filter, I can identify the exclusive branded terms searched for now compared to last year. Sony's VAT cashback scheme, which refunds the current VAT of selected products back to the consumer, is clearly picking up online traction. And using the charting tool, we can determine when these searches kicked off. Pinpoint seasonal search trends to impact your content plan. Seasonality occurs in almost every industry, and none more so than the travel sector, with flight destination searches continually changing year on year. In this example, using the term flight to with the broad match filter, we can identify how consumers are searching for flight destinations year on year using the compare filter as shown. As you can see, this report is comparing variations of flights to for 2010 versus 2009, and has helped us to identify that cheap flights to India has increased 30% year on year. To qualify these terms further as an opportunity, we can use the charting tool as shown. And as you can see, these searches have really increased in October. If you'd like to learn more from your five a day, please email support.uk at hitwise.com. Thanks for listening.